You mean you are leaving Cameroon directly to Brazil? Yeah. What are you taking from Cameroon to Brazil? Nothing. In Bauer's condition. It was a privilege for me to visit the Douala seaport and to my greatest surprise, I saw a ship that leaves Cameroon directly to Brazil without cargo. Before we continue, subscribe. It is true that you can never understand the hidden gems of any place until you visit that location. It was to my greatest surprise. There's so many things I saw at the Douala Seaport that no one has ever told me are in this place. First, we have the roll road terminals, which is cargo that can roll in and roll off into a ship. And these are the cars that you can see. Well, the visit here was not for a particular thing. We just had to stroll around and see how the environment looked like. So we had to see vehicles that brings containers and those that takes container off the seaport. So we just had to move around from one location to another, seeing what new thing we could see. And actually not all places were allowed to take videos. So we will just move around and took the videos in a technical way. Bearing the rig so you could see how the seaport looks like in the inside. So this is example. Looking afar, you can see the loading of rice. And this is the most important part now, going on board the vessel just to discover there is a full ship that can leave Cameroon to Brazil without carrying a single cargo. Come with me, let's go. Passing to Brazil. Luckily, I was able to meet a Russian on board by name Vadislav. My name is Vladislav, second male from Russia. All right, okay, Cameroon versus Russia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I was able to give me some few details, and I was surprised to hear that there is a ship that can actually leave Cameroon to Brazil, a long distance of thousands of miles without carrying a single cargo. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. What type of cargo do you people carry? Any kind of bulk carrier. Okay, so of bulk. Of bulk. bulk, some chemical. Okay. It can be like fertilizer, okay. a lot of something. Okay, other, okay. other vessel in our company uh, can also carry the dangerous cargo. Dangerous cargo, like. Uh... Yeah, like some exploded cargo, okay, okay, some okay. chemical which can be exploded. Okay, okay. Normally, that's like a twin, bulk, some from uh, Europe to somewhere here in Africa or okay. Asia or Latin America. Okay, okay. You mean you are leaving Cameroon directly to Brazil? Yeah. What are you taking from Cameroon to Brazil? Nothing. In Bauer's condition. Okay. So now we almost empty. So if you can see, that's very high level of the vessel uh -huh. because we have empty. Okay, you're going straight to Brazil, Latin America. Yeah, from Brazil again to the Europe. Four carriers from the Scandinavia to Cameroon and from Cameroon to Brazil. It was a very lovely experience because we've met other guys like those from the Philippines and different countries. As you see here. Cameroon, greetings to the Philippines. So apart from this, we had to meet them and they discuss a lot of things. So we could not show their faces because it wasn't official. But here we are. All right, okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, in Russia, I know of uh, Moscow, Putin, uh, President. 
Why are you people fighting in the UK? Okay, that being said, that was just a summary about the guys we just met. Uh, they are sheep by name harvested, but we couldn't stay there much longer, so we had to leave and discover other places around. So come with me, let's move around and see. So you see that they are going to they are somehow most of them they are refrigerated. That means you can store refrigerated cargo here like yeah, this. Yeah, sure. yeah, stuff like that. Yes, you see they are connected they, them they are in a special place and you see that their condition is different. They are connected to electricity. And lastly, you see different types of vehicles and different types of cargoes that you may not even know the names.